this was just from last week. So when everybody knows the attacks in England are horrific, right? So that's horrible. But people get killed, no matter what it is, seven people, even if it's just seven people, whatever. We had 9-11 in our country. England and the UK is used to terrorist attacks because they had the IRA, right? So they had terrorist attacks, but they know what that's about, and they know why people do it, which is why people are more attuned to Jeremy Corbyn's message of what's wrong with the UK, why we're having these attacks, is because we just went and created a, a terrorist haven in Libya. We did the same thing in Iraq. Maybe if we stop going to other countries and blowing the fucking shit out of them, maybe they would stop killing us in our own country. Jeremy Corbyn saying that in, in Europe, I mean in the UK, no one is saying that in the United States. They're ready for that message over there. We're not ready for it here, right? But we need someone with a lot of balls to say it. So this is what happened. Pentagon confirms airstrikes killed more than 100 civilians in Mosul, blames ICE. Of course, it's not their fault. ICE is there. We dropped a bomb, but then ISIS planned more bombs, and then their bomb blew up. <laughs> That's literally what the fucking story is. So there's, there's, there's a whole story, and I don't have time to get to it. Here's another, listen, I, I have time to get to this. Airstrike monitoring group overwhelmed by claims of U.S. called civilian casualties. That's from March 24th of this year. They're overwhelmed by U.S. killing civilian casualties. And all we're talking about is seven people who were just killed in the, in the U.K., which is horrible. Don't get me wrong. We should talk about why don't we talk about anything else? That's all we talk about. Everybody's like, oh, it's like a revolver attack. Are those not pe human beings that fucking we killed? Those aren't human beings. That's not a baby. That's not a grandpa. By the way, the first person, the first person they killed in Mosul, this might break your heart or broke mine. The first person they killed in Mosul was a grandpa, a senior citizen guy who was deaf, who thought that the people coming, the military coming in, they were coming and they were greeting them. So he went out to greet them and they fucking shot him and they killed him. The first person in Mosul killed was that fucking grandpa who thought he was hard of hearing who went out to greet them. That's who we're killing. And then we killed 200 more motherfuckers, babies, grandparents. Uh, and a nonprofit organization that tracks civilian casualties caused by airstrikes in the Middle East said it has shifted nearly all of its resources to track a surge of claims regarding U.S. led strikes in Syria and Iraq. The group called Airwars.org has been tracking deaths caused by both Russia and the United States airstrikes, but said in a statement Friday that it was scaling back its work on alleged Russian actions in Syria so as to best focus our limited resources on continuing to properly monitor and assess reported casualties from the U.S and its allies. Almost 1,000 civilian non-combatant deaths have already been alleged from coalition actions across Iraq and Syria in March. Can you imagine the kids growing up in these areas? What's to stop them from becoming terrorists? We're not educating exactly. them, they've got no yeah. opportunity. No, I'm creating an yeah. entire it's, generation of people who want to fucking kill everyone. You are exactly right. You're 100% right. Let's have a hand for her. No, you're right. And this is, but they'll, but they don't. They're so not evil for wanting to kill people. No. That's all they've ever fucking known. That's all they've ever. They're just normal human beings, right? They're fucking kids. Yeah. They, but, but the American press acts like they were, uh, they were birthed somewhere in Mars, and they're brought up in some other place, and they have this crazy thing. Hey, just because we're killing everybody in your country, why do you are you angry at us? <laughs> That's what this is all about. We invaded. A, now we're going back. To, all right, so here, there's more of this. <laughs> Last week, U.S. drones targeted what locals deemed a mosque in Aleppo province in a bid to target al-Qaeda leaders. U.S. officials said dozens of terrorists were killed, but those on the ground said at least 47 civilians also died in the strikes. Depending, again, let's remember, seven people, 47. This is every fucking day. It's happening every fucking day. Awesome. And all, so imagine that's how we feel about those seven people. They feel 40 fucking times what we feel. And you wonder why there's still fucking terrorism in the world? This is what I don't, and this is what they won't. Jake Tapper, who I love, won't tell you. Chris Hayes, who I love, won't tell you. Rachel Maddow, who I pretend to love, won't tell you. <laughs> <laughs> well, and we're also fighting on the side of Al Qaeda in Yemen. Yes. Like, that's how insane it is. In Yemen, we are fighting with Al-Qaeda, and basically, 
it's it's going to be a, a fucking genocide suit. Like we're collapsing that society. So we're, we manufacture cluster bombs in America, which is a war crime to the rest of the world. We then sell it to Saudi Arabia. They then drop cluster bombs on fishing villages in Yemen, the poorest people in the world, which kills 90% civilians, and we call ourselves Christian. Okay, just so you fucking know. And the Muslims are bad, and Bill Maher will tell you they're the ones who are crazy violent, even though we manufacture fucking war crimes literally in our fucking factories here in America. Literally, we do that. That's not hyperbole. That's not me fucking overstating something. We manufacture cluster bombs in Rhode Island in a fucking factory, and then we ship them to Saudi Arabia. They then send them to, Saudi, to Yemen, and they kill the poorest people in the fucking world. That's what's happening. Okay. On Monday, a conflict monitoring group, the Britain-based Syrian Observatory for Human Rights, said a strike near Raqqa targeted a school that was serving as a home for multiple families displaced by fighting in the area, killing at least 33. Did you see that picture? Did you see the pictures of those dead babies? I didn't see them. Did you see I didn't see them. Where are they? The Pentagon admitted U.S. aircraft were operating in the vicinity, but according to Pentagon spokesman Eric Pahon, the military is having a hard time rectifying the location of the building that was targeted with what was shown as a drug. It's ridiculous. Imagine if you in Compton or Pasadena or I live on the west side, let's say you live next door and there was serious criminals living next door, whatever they were, terrorists, meth lab, whatever, and instead of just arresting them, they sent fucking rockets and right. blew them up and killed one of your kids or your friends or family. Are you going to be like, well, at least we got the bad guys? <laughs> or are you going to go, fuck that, whoever sent that goddamn rocket, I'm going to go blow you the fuck up. That's, That's exactly, exactly right. what you would do. If any of my nieces or nephews died that way, I would be like, whoever the fuck sent that rocket, guess what? I'm not a comedian anymore. I'm a fucking terrorist. Yes, that's right. Because yeah. guess what? I got cut off in traffic last week, and I'm still tracking that guy. <laughs> <laughs> because this is what people say to guys like me and Graham who get upset about this stuff. You know what people say to me? They go, oh, you're angry. And I always tell them, yeah, you know, I try to save my anger for important things, you know, like sporting events and Hollywood award shows. That's yeah. right. <laughs> yeah, when they stole Tom Brady's jersey. Ah! Oh my God, I can't believe he caught an all the ball on the goal line. What the fuck is going on? So if you're screaming about a sporting event, everybody goes, oh no, he's a Patriots fan. You get it, right? Yeah. People go, oh, he's screaming about human rights. <laughs> He's, he's upset that his government's corrupt. <laughs>